everyone, it's Tracy Temperance Tarot, and I wanted to do a quick unboxing. Uh, I have something that I have not seen anywhere at all before that I got from Amazon of all places. So I have opened the package, but I haven't opened anything up. So let's have a look. It is called Crystals the Stone Deck. And as you all probably know, I am I love, love, love crystals, and I have always been looking for, you know, there are several crystal oracle decks out there, but none of them just were quite exactly what I was looking for, so I keep trying. I got a couple of new crystals recently, this past week. This one came from my local witchy shop, and it is the most gorgeous smoky quartz I think I've seen, and I particularly love it because of all of the little all the points I mean there are points everywhere and there's some I don't know if it's gonna show right here we've got some little teeny tiny points that I just ugh, I just love it and you can tell here there was probably a, a really large point that they broke off to sell by itself but oh, I love that I love that and then I got this clear point from a different store. And I think the thing that I loved about this one was how it fits in my hand. Do there. And where they broke it off of the other stone, they took some time and actually polished those edges so that they're not rough. So it feels really good in my hand and I really love it. So those are my two new crystals. Let's have a look at Crystals, the stone deck. 78 crystals to energize your life. It is published by Chronicle Books out of San Francisco. Copyright 2018. Energize your mind, body, and spirit with this luxe deck of 78 crystal cards. Each card features a dazzling stone on the front and an illuminating description on the back. And an accompanying booklet offers tips on how to use and care for your gems. Select a crystal based on your needs or close your eyes and pull a card to see what the universe has in store. There's no such thing as random. Brimming with mystical wisdom on love, sex, strength, clarity, and productivity, this enlightening deck makes it easy to cultivate good vibes whenever you need to, wherever you are. Text by Andrew Smart, photographs by Jason White. I, I like photographic decks of crystals because I want to see actual images of crystals. It opens, it's got a little slide drawer here, and there we can see we have some black tourmaline on the top. The, the sleeve is actually tight enough to where it's not going to fall out on its own, which is great. I have um, a couple of affirmator decks that that are sleeved kind of like that, but they're, they're loose, and if you hold them the wrong way, the whole thing falls out. I need a pair of scissors. Looks like a rainbow on the side. I have the, oh, what is it called? Lavish Earth Deck, which is very nice and has lots of interesting text. But I wish the pictures of the crystals were a little bit bigger. So yes, that is the booklet. It is a very small booklet. Oh, cool. How to use the deck. How to meditate with crystals. How to make a fashion statement. Oh, I love it. How to honor your astrological sign. Leo, sunstone, roar! I'm Leo rising. Sagittarius, Tibetan black quartz exploration. Oh, that's interesting. I don't have any of that. I have to find some. How to make the world's simplest crystal grid. How to keep bad vibes out. How to feel better, guaranteed. Take a deep breath. How to get grounded. How to set an intention. How to power up for the long haul. How to express yourself. How to take care of your stones. How to dream big. The cardstock is matte. Fairly bendy, but it seems like it will be fairly durable. And I like that it's just basically 
a white background and a picture of a stone. And we'll go through some of them. I don't know that we'll go through all of them. And then on the back, that must be where the color comes from, is the back, yes. And it talks about the name of the stone, what it is, who needs it. Blue calcite. People, who needs it? People who stare up at the ceiling worrying about the future at 3 a.m. Where to put it on your bedside table. I do have some blue calcite. No, I have celestite. I need to move my calcite then. When stress is the enemy, freaking out is not a pre prerequisite for accomplishment. Deadlines aren't death sentences. Stress will extinguish your creativity and crush your dreams if you let it. Call on the calming, focused energy of blue calcite to remind you to put, put stress in its place, far away from the joy far away from the joy of the process and delight of dreaming big. And the little affirmation is act on your dreams. Okay. And that is unpolished blue calcite. That is beautiful. Okay. I love this. I love this. And it's 78, so it's a very large deck. Let's have a quick look at, at some of them. I'm not going to be able to recognize all of them on site, but that pretty much should be black tourmaline. Yeah, black, black tourmaline. That is jet. Fascinating. Jet's kind of hard to find. That, I'm guessing that's obsidian. Yep, that's obsidian. That is shungite. Okay. And yeah, we're, we've, we're in the blackish stones, so it's kind of got a gray background. Is that Apache tear? Tektite. Okay. Uh, tektite describes any natural glass formed as the result of meteor impacts with our blue planet. Modern science deems the stones as terrestrial in comparison but believers in ancient astronauts have other theories. Cool. Shivalingam. Mm. Sometimes matte cards are hard to get apart. Oh, I have I have some topaz. Yeah. Let's see what that is. Astrophilite. Meteorite, smoky quartz, looks like real hematite. Yep, hematite. I have a piece of that. This is raw, real hematite. A lot of the hematite out on the market is not real. So, and from what I understand, if you've got magnetic, magnetic hematite, it is not real. Now, I don't know what it is, but. Agate. Carnelian. I don't think we have any polished stones here. Garnet. Wow, my I have a garnet, it's way darker than that. Bandonite. I know that one, I have one of those. Aragonite, yep. That is polychrome jasper, yep. Hmm. Copper, like I said, copper's a mineral. <laughs> if you're thinking, but copper isn't a crystal, indeed you're a genius. Copper is a metal, but it's such a powerful energy conductor and component of so many of your favorite stones, chrysocolla, malachite, turquoise, it has to make the cut. Well, that's cool. Orange calcite. Looks like honey calcite. Yep, honey calcite. Sunstone. Ah, uh, my sunstone doesn't look like that. That's a very nice specimen. These are not in any particular order. Tiger's eye. I think they're, well, they're ordered by color. Yes, they are. That's tiger's eye. Amber. Libyan gold tektite. That's interesting. Is that peridot? Yeah. Green calcedony. 
Ah, serpentine. Okay. Serpentine. Epidote. Is that Labradorite? Yep, Labradorite. Moldavite. Aquamarine. Yeah, I don't have any aquamarine that's that pretty either. Fluorite. Uh, I like fluorite with purple in it, but that's just me. That emerald. Green calcite. Really? My green calcite isn't that pretty. Chrysoprase. 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 Adventurine. Adventurine. Not adventurine. Malachite. Oh, what's that? Hiddenite. Never heard of that. Hmm. Bloodstone. Heliotrope. Oh. That's appetite, isn't it? No, Amazonite. Okay, Amazonite. Turquoise. Chris Cola. Emerald. Yeah, that's the kind of emerald specimen you can actually emerald specimen you can actually get. Cabin site. Okay. Don't have any of that. I've, this is on my wish list. Bismuth. Laramar. Celestite. Celestite. Yep. Sapphire. Kyanite. Azurite. So lapis. Lapis lazuli. This one must be so light. Those are hard to tell apart sometimes. the light. I must not have any of this. I don't think so. Amatrine. Amethyst. Amethyst. Amatrine. I see I would have swapped those photographs. I would have called this one Amatrine and this one Amethyst because this one doesn't really have any yellow to it but this one clearly has some yellow to it. Kunzite. Wow, what's that? Ruby. Yeah, <laughs> my ruby doesn't look like that either. <laughs> lapidolite. I love lapidolite. Rose quartz. Yeah, my rose quartz isn't that pink either. That's pink calcite, isn't it? Rhodochrosite. Okay. Rhodochrosite. And that's rhodonite. Oops. Lemurian quartz. Huh. I've seen lots of Lemurian quartz that doesn't look pink. You know, sometimes people sell you something as one thing and it's really something else. Termalite. Muscovite. Barite. Oh, it's opal. Opal. Citrine. I have a piece of natural citrine. This is not heat treated. And this is what I could afford. <laughs> Get really nice citrine that hasn't been heat treated. It's very expensive. Uh, pyrite. It's one of my faves. 
This one could have been photographed better. Magnesite. Yeah, these light colored ones, it seems like they had a hard time photographing them. Moonstone, yeah, it doesn't really show its luster very well. Skull site, fell night. No idea what that is. Apophyllite? My apophyllite doesn't look a thing like that. My apophyllite is, uh, is completely clear. Herkimer Diamond, which is really a quartz. It's a good PR campaign. Tibetan Black Quartz. Damborite. I don't mind any of that. Halite. Diamond. Quartz. And then Blue Calcite got kind of out of order because I pulled it out. I thought I'd show how it shuffled before I uh, took off. But it's a little bit longer than a standard tarot deck because my hands are straining to get from end to end and I have big hands. It does bend beautifully. So it's going to shuffle nicely. Let's try a corner shuffle. Corner shuffles pretty well. It and overhand, I can't do it this way. I have to do it this way. And it has the same, you know, we complain about the glossy, sticky cardstock, but some of this matte stuff is just as bad about sticking together. So, you know, my favorite is plain cardstock. I've said that before. So there you go. Let's pull one. Let's pull one. I'm gonna pull it over here where I can't see it. And let's pull a message for all of us. And we've got Sapphire, which is appropriate. We're fixing to end out the month of September where Sapphire is the birthstone. Often blue, but sometimes pink or yellow, Sapphire, Sapphire like ruby, is a variety of the mineral corundum. Apparently I can't English this morning. With its peacemaking force field of sparkle energy, Sapphire protects the vulnerable and squishy stuff inside from judgmental people and their unsolicited BS. Who needs it? Students of ancient wisdom. Where to put it? On your right middle finger. Finger of Saturn, Sapphire's associated planet. When to use it? When resentments are doing more damage to you than those you're holding them against. Enlist Sapphire to call forth that old soul that resides within i.e. the wisest part of you who couldn't possibly care less about what anybody else thinks of you. Find your tranquil place. I really do like these messages. I think that the messages are great. So there you go. Um, first impression is that I like the messages. The images, you know, stone specimen, crystal specimens can look so different from one specimen to the, to the next that it's hard to say that these look exactly like what I would expect them to look like. And I did have an issue with the, you know, the amethyst and the ametrine. Um, I would have definitely called that one ametrine. But there you go. I think I'm going to enjoy this. Thanks so much for watching and have a fabulous day.